What's up, everybody? Drew right back at it again with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Ground Branch because they just released another Intel report version 1034 preview. Oh, see what's going on. It starts off with saying, Hey, everyone, the dev blog is back with Intel report number 15, where we cover the first news for the upcoming release of version 1034, as well as other dev team related updates. Let's get straight to it. New level designer. We're officially welcoming Elliot Burgess, a level designer and environmental artist with credits including Rising Storm 2, Vietnam, and more recently, Ready or not, into the Blackfoot Studio team. Ah, small world. Elliot is currently busy with early work on a new map called Ranch. If you have any guesses, drop it in the comments. There's comments in this, but you could also drop it in my YouTube comments if you want to. I don't know what Ranch is or where it comes from. Probably a reference to Rainbow Six if I had to guess. Here's to know what it is. But anyways, female characters are finally arriving in version 1034. The first implementation of female characters, which have long been in the works, is finally confirmed to be in the upcoming release V1034. And here is one version of it. So I believe this is the black female character model and it looks pretty good i wish they actually had like some facial animations though because right now it's kind of just like a stone face really but yeah it's pretty cool what is this map in the background by the way is this a training map or this looks new i don't know what this is underneath this it says some might recall the tactical shooter trailblazer rainbow six and ghost recon featured female operators all the way back in 1998 and 2001 respectively and we are proud to maintain this tradition yep i remember because female characters are directly derived from the male counterparts a lot of things remain to be refitted and may look janky but we're getting there as previously mentioned on steam forums and our discord there will be no significant gameplay benefits or drawbacks based on the sex of the character yeah, that's the one thing about adding in female operators is that they have to literally redo all of the assets so that they actually fit properly like even on this picture right here you see that it's not like hugging her it's just like on the character model so they need to fix all of those but anyways moving on here harry ops our female operator wouldn't be complete without some more authentic hairstyle options than a shaved head so we're finally bringing in a few dawes dawes is that how you say that that will add an extra layer of customization as well as some much needed variety to all characters here are a few samples mm. Look at this. Is that a different white guy? That's a different white guy too, right? Look, wow, that's a lot of character models already. This guy looks different, that guy looks different. This guy looks really different. Same with this guy. I think these are all different people. At least they look like it. I don't even see the Asian guy in here. And then here's the female models. It doesn't look like this one has hair. Same hairstyle, but like all different. This is cool. These almost look the same, but I think they're slightly different. This one has green eyes, I, I believe. The green. But well, moving on here. Hairstyles would be a relatively simple thing to implement if they weren't if it weren't for all the headgear options. Anything that isn't close to a buzz cut can cause clipping with hats, headsets, and even helmets. The clipping requires various areas of different hairstyles to be masked out and programmed to be hidden. Only when combined with certain headgear items, all of that takes a considerable amount of time, which is why we ensure, which is why we're unsure just how many or which hairstyles will make it into version 1034, but rest assured that they will all be making their way into the game eventually. Moving on to the next thing here, it says more characters on the way. In addition to the existing five male characters and the previously showcased five female characters contractor Pau Pinolover I never know how to say his name I'm sorry has created two new characters that will be featured in version 1034 both were inspired by typically Middle Eastern and Mediterranean features yeah I thought these two would look different from the previous ones that we've seen so Middle Eastern characters and she's holding a Galil hold on I don't think that's in the game and there's this guy who kind of does look a little Middle Eastern I didn't think he did it at first but now that I look at it it's like oh, yeah, yeah, I can see it what are those shoes those are nice looking shoes Moving on here, kicking up the kickback. Up until version 1033, recoil animations was restricted to weapon itself kicking back and up, with some minor secondary arm movement derived only from the hands being attached to it. For version 1034, our animator Mike is upgrading recoil with more secondary movements, which now include the head and upper body reacting to the kick. This iteration simply adds secondary animations. The actual recoil and underlying system will be upgraded at a later point to both look and feel more realistic. The first pass will add five types or levels of recoil that correspond that correspond to handguns have a 9mm and a 45 recoil. Most primary weapons have a light, medium, and heavy recoil depending on caliber. And both machine guns have unique recoils. With the BKM being close to heavy recoil and the MK46 to the medium one. We got a first preview of it with a female operator. Let's take a look.
Damn, that looks pretty good, not gonna lie. Underneath this, it says motion capture. This week, Mike has also recorded motion capture for Prone. Oh my god, they finally talking about it after all this freaking time. Oh my god. Weapon transitioning, changing from primary to secondary and vice versa. A new sprint. Ooh. I would love to have, like, different types of sprint, like sprinting with, you know, the gun down and sprinting with it up while you're running. It'd be cool if you could have a uh, different options for that. That'd be amazing. And some other assorted movements that are expected to make it into version 1034. Fingers crossed. Very cool. Cool. Moving on here. New muzzle VFX. VFX artist Charles has spent the last couple of months refining the particles for muzzle effects in special smoke and flash. While also adding some smaller details here and there, muzzles will also generate more unique particles based on what type of weapon and muzzle device is being used. All right, so it looks like we got another video here. Let me turn on the audio. Damn, that looks so good. It could be better, but you know, it's 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 getting really good, not gonna lie. Next stop for Charles is smoke grenades. Interesting. Moving on to the next thing here. Armory additions. We can confirm two new weapons for version 1034. So far, the Galil Arm or ARM squad automatic weapon, 556 NATO 35 round magazine, and the SA58 or the FAL FAL battle rifle, 762 NATO 20 round magazine. Oh my god, look at how beautiful these weapons are. Oh my Oh my goodness oh my stars and guards look at these i cannot wait to get my hands on the i think isn't the foul already on the game like this is like a smaller version of it right i think it's the one that's in ready or not if i'm not mistaken like a smaller version our partners have also built a new and more typical fal which will be replacing the both of the placeholders fal tactical which was standing in for the sa58 osw and the foul vintage a stand in for the more older fal so does that mean that we're not going to get the old fal too they got a picture of the fal new fal models seen here in optional realms too see this is one thing that i really like about ground brand is that they don't just straight replace the weapon completely like they add like a newer model for the older one right that's the problem that i have with predator not sometimes is that they don't like leave the older version of the gun in the game so that we can still play with it if we want to but yeah that's pretty cool i love that oh my god is that the aug oh my okay i gotta hit myself we also have an aug a1 in its early stages we wanted to offer modders a template for a bullpup weapon and though bullpups aren't very common in modern battlefields the aug is one of the more common types out there oh my goodness i love the aug i'm not gonna lie i like it a lot probably one of my favorites at least in game i've never actually shot one in real life but yeah I like that a lot. The AUG will not be featured in version 1034. Oh, that's unfortunate. As Mike's to-do list is very much packed already, meaning no time to animate it. We just thought you'd like to know it's on the way. Pretty awesome. But moving on here, it says small town update. Another classic ground branch map has received a makeover by environment artist Will Bullen. Mount training site. Mount training site. Small town. This is a less of a major overhaul, a la depot, and more of a visual update to get it more in line with the newer maps. It also officially establishes the map as a training site, leaking it visually with the farm. Ooh, ooh, look at that. I like the way that the trees look. Those look really good. Oh, they added in a couple of cars here. There's car there, car there. The walls look a little more higher, it looks like. Was there a ladder there before? I don't remember. I can't see what this side is. It's probably like one of my favorite maps, not gonna lie. This looks like visually stunning, not gonna lie. Man, just thinking back on the days of when this first game launched, it just looks so different from where it was. Like all these maps are starting to look gorgeous now man this looks really good the layout for version 1034 small town remains mostly unchanged yeah i could definitely tell like it looks like there's a lot more foliage in the background and kind of in the front but you could tell that they they added a lot of like uh i guess paint is the right word like splotches of you know the concrete there but they tried to paint it but you know obviously it's not working out damn looks really good but moving on here it says locking down the range for community request server admins will be able to disable the ready room shooting range in version 1034 enabling the server option will add a lock gate to the entrance that kind of sucks I mean, why would you want to lock that down it's probably like one of the best parts about the lobby area i guess it's because people you know tend to just run into the freaking shooting range instead of trying to start the game if i had to guess but you know a lot of people like to troll around and stuff but uh yeah underneath this it says a quick note on ai progress and 
Enemy AI has been moved over to Kithra Middleware and with immediate upgrades in both pathfinding and cover usage. We'll be showing more once things are less under the hood and more visible to the player. This is it for today's Intel report. As always, we're incredibly grateful for everyone's continued support through Ground Branch's development. We'll keep working hard on the update. Like I always say with every update, man, every update is a goddamn banger when it comes to this studio. That was Intel report number 15, first V1034 preview. What are your guys' thoughts? It was fairly small, but you know, it had a lot of good stuff in there. Let me know what you think down below because I'm going to end it right here. Well, I thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.